Hey guys, I'm at a stoplight, so I'm filming from my car. This has not been a good morning. I woke up on the first full day of being in my mid 40s, I guess, or late early 40s with two giant zits. Like, when does it end? It never ends. I'm getting my period, so I guess when the period ends, maybe then, <laughs> then all kinds of other fun things start. And then we had homeowners association, absolute craziness, car towing, RV trailers parked on the street, just angry neighbors you ain't towing my car like really do i live i feel like i'm living in a reality tv show and it's not a good one so and now i'm running late to my lunch appointment and i left my vlogging camera at home and now the light is green goodbye anyway i left my vlogging camera at home and i forgot my ring so i just feel naked but i'm wearing new earrings that aaron got me for my birthday aren't they pretty and the lighting is awful and i forgot my vlogging camera so Hey guys, I'm at my favorite Thai restaurant, Thai Hut, and here is the remnants of my Pad Thai. Um, I would show you my dining companion, but she is adamant that she does not want to be on camera, so, but you can say hi, say hi. hi. See, it's a real person there. And um, anyway, it's, uh, it's been a great lunch catching up, and I'm just showing her how this vlogging thing works, so uh, I'll see you guys when I get home on my regular vlogging camera. Hey guys, I thought I would stop in at the... Uh, library. I have not physically been in the library in ages because I download everything on ebook now from them. But I did reserve a book and I hope it's still around. I did reserve a book and uh, got a notice that it was on hold. I don't know if I've waited too long. We'll take a look and I'll see what's new on the shelf. But here's what it looks like. I've taken you here before but for those of you that might be new, this is the Parman Library in Stone Oak. Way back in the distance, where you really can't see, are um, is a play area. There's walking trails, and it's nice. It's small. The actual building is one room. That's it. <laughs> That's the whole library right there. But it's better than nothing. So let's go see what we have. I'm back from lunch and I ran a couple errands and I stopped by my friend Lee's house and I picked that she went to market in Dallas and picked this up. This is a fake orchid. I'm gonna put that in my filming room. I like it. And then I got a package from Loft. Let me move my orchids. I ordered this skirt last week and um it's very bright green. It's like limey, chartreuse yellowy, neonish. And I have a matching shirt and clutch actually coming in hopefully tomorrow. And then I got another package from Pacifica Beauty. They make lovely boxes. I have no idea what's in here. Like I thought, well, they contacted me a couple months ago and asked if they could send me a couple of things and this has turned into like a regular. And I feel badly because not love, like, I've really not liked too much. Hey, gorgeous. We are sending you this because we love what you're up to. So, three things. I mean, they are a great brand. <sighs> Underarm deodorant wipes. Now, this is kind of cool. And makeup removing wipes. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Like, I understand sending me a one or two, but... Three packages of the underarm deodorant wipes and three packages of the makeup removing wipes. Well, I don't want to use the wipes for my face because I'm really not sure I want to use essential oils on my face because it gets irritated easily. So this I may, I think these are getting donated to, I'm going to send these to the troops actually, the women troops. They would love these. And actually, they would love these too. But I should at least give this a try, right? I feel guilty. We shall, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you posted on that. And then, and then, I placed an order with Gerard Cosmetics. I feel like a thousand years ago. It was probably a week ago. And they came. They look like this, the packaging. And I got, um, I'm wearing, I tried one on. This one is, I believe, Tequila Sunrise. 
So far I'm not understanding the raving. The one I really wanted was this fairy godmother one. Looks like that. Um, I haven't swatched it or anything. They don't smell very good. <laughs> they smell like wax. So we'll see. The packaging is pretty, this gold, but it's really flimsy. The, my initial first impression is not wonderful, but I've seen people on YouTube raving about them, so I wanted to see. Um, Buttercup. This one could be good. It's supposed to be a nude. Let me see. Yeah, these smell like Crayola crayons. Don't you love my zit? Isn't that great? Yeah, 42 years old. What the heck? Anyway, I don't know. I could be debunking a huge YouTube myth here and telling you that these are absolute crap. Um, they are priced pretty high if you don't buy them on special, so this did not swatch all that great. We'll see. Initial impression is not optimistic. The so I'm shirt, here with my shirt, two wait, children. The shirt is not inside out, by the way. The shirt is not inside out. Like is it like a mock turtle? It's supposed to be like this. Okay. So I made quinoa fried rice, chicken quinoa fried rice, or actually chicken fried quinoa, for dinner. And I think it's awesome. It looks like this. And feedback from the peanut gallery. I, uh, I picked out all the chicken. So the chicken was good. Chicken grease. <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay. And what was the, the sign language? Oh no, we're not going there. We're not discussing there. hand gestures like anymore. Yeah. That's bad. And I caved and let them have soda with dinner because yeah. daddy's out of town. He is. You didn't know when he left? <laughs> Dad's in, uh, in Orange County. Oh. Nice. Lucky Remember you. you said goodbye to him yesterday? Uh, I mean, we did that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he travels a lot. I know. Can you show us your t-shirt? <laughs> The Great Goldberg, back to school. Bar mitzvah bash. That is a fine shirt. Wait, you can't have a I video. Know. You can't have a video without the dog. You're right. You know. your Do not stuff. put his feet on the table. This is a she, mom. Oh, sorry, Mimi. Where's the other one? Right here. Begging. No food for you. <laughs> hey guys, I should have started filming this before. Um, when I was actually cooking it, but it's hard to do. I'll link the recipe that I'm using, although I adapt it. Instead of using sea salt, I add sprinkles. But I am making chocolate toffee matzah crunch, it's called. It's baking in the oven right now. Basically what you do is you melt two sticks of butter and a cup of brown sugar in a saucepan and pour it over a bunch of matzah that's laid out on a cookie sheet. You bake that for 10 to 15 minutes, take it out, sprinkle it with chocolate chips, smear that around so it melts, and then you sprinkle that with sprinkles. I'll show you each step as we go. I know there's a lot of noise going on around me, um, but that's such is life. So I pulled the matzo out of the oven and, okay, and um, the brown sugar and butter mixture is melted into a toffee and hardened, and then I sprinkled mini semi-sweet chocolate chips and then you let it set for a few minutes and then I'm going to smear them. Oh, they're ready to smear. Chocolate is spread and now we do sprinkles. Isabel. Isabel, ¿cómo se dice sprinkles en español? Sprinkles. Uh, brillantes. Brillantes? Brillantes. Okay, you sprinkle the brillantes azul aquí. <laughs> Hey guys, I am up at the JW Marriott and I'm up actually in their spa area. I came up here to get a gift certificate for a group gift for a friend of mine and I thought I'd take a peek at the spa. I used to be a member here, but it's been a couple of years. They have some cool stuff, so I just wanted to show you some of the things. How smooth is a duck's butt?
Hey guys, I'm popping in to get a pedicure, um, use my gift certificate. I'm starving. There's a Walgreens in the same strip center, so I picked up, they're really good snacks in Walgreens. I got a little bag of dried, freeze-dried apples, which I love. They're crunchy, so it's like, almost like candy. And then I got two for a dollar cheese sticks, and they have water at the nail salon, so I'm good to go. So you can get healthy snacks on the go. They had nuts and things like that in there too. I just didn't feel like that. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be late. So I'm gonna go in and get my toesies done. I'm just gonna do, I'm not bringing a Zoya polish this time. I'm just doing shellac because although I hate it on my fingers, I love it on my toes because I'm always stubbing my toes and that way the polish lasts through the stubbing process. So I'll see you later. I am blown away. My package from Mikayla, Kyla, Miss Budget Beauty, Dire of a Spendaholic, however you know her. Oh my gosh, I need to send her more stuff because her stuff is so much better than my stuff. I don't even know what to say is the best. Um, so much. Look at this. Look at all, well, like, first, just tons of stuff. I'm, I'll just show you some of the highlights. This is bronzer and highlighter. Oh, it smells like chocolate. Yum. And then look at what she had made for me. Oh my gosh. Like this is going on my desk and I'm going to put pens in there because, but only cool pens. Cause I, I don't even, this is just the coolest thing. And look, Lana lips. We don't have this here. It's got a red tint too, which is so cool. And then I've wanted this forever. Ever since I saw Amelia Liana wearing it. This is the Maybelline Super Stay um, nail polish that for reasons I don't understand we can't get in the U.S. And it's called Uptown Blue. And look at the nail jellies. I love Barry M nail jellies. I don't have any of these. And I have to admit, I just put this over the top of my ring finger here. Can you see the shimmer? Oh yeah. Illamasqua by Terry. Burberry, I mean, come on. Burberry lipstick, two blushes. This is, I think, Revolution. Look at that highlighter. Holy, oh my God, bam. It's gorgeous. Look at those little tiny, those look like they might actually fit my eyeballs. I'm excited. Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. I just, oh, so much good stuff. And then I already bagged up most of the candy. Wrigley, shush. I bagged up most of the candy, but um, I might take one of these in the car with me. I have to put the track meet now. But oh my gosh, just amazing. I'm so excited. Like, I'm so mad I have to go to my son's track meet because I want to take my nail polish off and do my nails and do a blush and put on fake lashes that I can never get right, but I'll give it a try and Oh my, oh, and this, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Look at this, the volume one second mascara, I've been wanting this forever, and she, oh, the Maybelline little color dramas, I've been wanting these forever, and there's three of them, and then there's this thing, bourgeois color, I mean, just, oh my gosh, she knows me, she knows what I love. There's so, like, okay, just, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just so, so excited, there's so many cool things. I didn't even show you everything, and I'm not. I gotta get ready to go to this meet. So, I'll see you later. Oh my gosh, so cool. So cool! Oh wait, one more thing. This is like, is this, I've been wanting to try this forever. It's the little things, people. It's the little things. Hey guys, I am at the track meet, and uh, I have no idea. Results I'm here. from the eighth grade boys discus. Discus, woo! It's track and field. And I'm here with my friend, Sean from Canada. Our boys are running the mile together, so we're just gonna hang out here for another hour and wait. This is a lot of hurry up and wait. So that's a track. I'll see if I can get some footage of the boy running in a little bit. Where's my kid? Back in food off. Oh, he's in the front, I think. Those are the bigger boys. Seventh graders on the left. A reminder that we have concession stands located on the west side, under the west side bleachers. They do start slashing prices as the meet starts to conclude. So we're leaving the meet, and tell everybody what your time was in the mile. 5.30. And where did you place? Eighth. Out of? Uh, I don't know, probably like 30. 50, 30 40 kids, yeah. 50 kids, yeah. And a friend, say hi. Hi, I got last. Hey, but you did it. I've never run a mile in my life. No, you should be proud of yourself. Yeah. And you ran the 200. Hello. 
So anyway, now it took me longer to get here and come back than the whole week. Oh, guys, we're this way. So now we're back home. That was awesome. It's a little after 10. The kids are upstairs. And there's this high-pitched... Can you hear it? It's in my laundry room. I think it's the water shop. Do you hear it? Oh my god, it's right next to my room. Look, I'm in my laundry room. And there's my room. How am I gonna... S ah! Okay, I'm just gonna close the door. And let's see if we can hear it in my room. Not really. Okay, well I'm gonna get in bed and read for a little bit. And I'm actually reading like a real book. Like a book on paper. <laughs> I got this from the library and um, I only read like a handful of pages. It seems good so far. It was um, it has an author recommendation from Louise Penny who's one of my favorite authors. So hopefully she didn't just say she liked it but hopefully she actually read it and liked it. Um, but I like it so far. And uh, I'm gonna get in bed, read for a little bit and go to sleep. Michael's on his way home from the Orange County office. He's on a plane right now. He's gonna get in around midnight. He said, he called from the airport. He goes, you gonna be home when I get home? I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> where would I be? And he says, oh no, I meant, are you gonna be awake? And I'm like, yeah, no. But wake me up when you get home. I'll say hi before I go back to sleep. Anyway, it looks like someone's ready to go to bed. Hello, Mr. Wiggles. You gonna sleep up there? Boz, you gonna get up here too? You're eating my finger. Okay, Boz, let's go to bed. Oh shoot, I forgot to turn off the overhead light. Gosh darn it. This is Wrigley's new thing. Then I have to kick him off my pillow. You're on my pillow. Dude. Bosley usually, sorry, I'm probably making you seasick. He starts off the night there and then ends up in that chair, which is all wonky. Let's fix the chair. Oops. Okay. There we go. That's Bosley's chair. Let's see if they jump in. Oh, there's a... Well, there was a bug. Now there's a dead bug. Okay. Wrigley, get up. Oh, crap. I forgot to turn all the lights off out there. This is not going well. Hey, guys. It is Thursday morning. The reason why I'm having a hard time thinking is because that noise has not stopped. That humming noise. Listen to this. It's gone on all through last night. It's this thing. That expansion tank, whatever that does, it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing because I'm going to go crazy. I already told Michael if this does get fixed today, I'm checking in a hotel tonight. So, I'm gonna go bananas. Luckily the plumber called and he's on his way. Um, I have been hiding out here in the backyard on the porch because if I close the door, I can't hear it, but everything is covered in yellow. I don't know if you can see this. This yellow, I don't want to touch it, but this pollen, this just, ugh. And so the bottom of my feet is gross. They're yellow. It's just gross. And um, my nose, whatever. It's just... But I've spent all morning out here on the phone because I've just been asked to head up the Varsity Football Mom silent auction items for our fall gala. So that's exciting. I think it's exciting. And I'm already brainstorming some ideas. I've already put some phone calls and emails out. I want to get this done early and be done with it. And um, so if you guys have any great ideas, I need... 15 items and five, a minimum of 15 standalone items and then five baskets. So I was thinking of like our local, one of the local universities get some spirit gear and items um, or tickets to some of the sporting events and we could package all those up. That would be fun. A, I was going to call where I board the dogs and see if they want to donate like a 
boarding and training package, gift certificate, and I can get some dog toys and throw that in there and make it a fun little package. I was thinking of some makeup, some of the brands that I work with to hit them up and see if they'd be willing to donate some stuff for that. Um, hotel stays, spa type stuff, manicures. Um, so anyway, because that's my wheelhouse is makeup and all that stuff. See if my hair salon would be willing to donate, like a haircut and some products. So anyway, um, those are the things that are going through my mind. But if any of you have ever done this and you have some suggestions, please let me know because I would, I could always use some more ideas. So local businesses, things like that. Um, anyway, not that I'm asking you all to donate, you know what I mean, ideas, I need ideas. So I'm going to go back in and wait for the plumber guy to call to tell me that he's here so I can buzz him through the gate. And uh, I'm going to take an Advil. Oh my god, my head. It's just this constant... Mm. Hey guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to call an end to the vlog here. I want you to... My oh, youngest son says, I'm just having a couple guys I over. Yeah, I gave you a sub. Wait, is it going on YouTube? Yes. Is she vlogging? Vlogging. Drake, pool party. Mr. Jones. So, I thought y'all were swimming. What happened? We were. Ow! I, 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 I threw the football over the fence. Not you did not. Hayden. No, 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 sweetie, hang on. Do not climb over that. I'm coming down. You may think you're cool, but you're still 14. Are you seriously a subscriber now? I am. I no, you're not. I know that you uh, follow me on Instagram, and I'm noticing you're liking my pictures while you're in school. Well, because we take our phones out in school. Yeah, we're allowed to. Yeah, uh -huh. we're allowed to. Gonna, we're allowed to when they don't say we can. Not going to say any now, but the teachers are pretty cool. Where are the YOLO? All right, it's three feet. It's three feet deep. I want to jump in. Oh my gosh. No, I got to get the football. When Sani, also known as Miss May 27, tagged me with a whole other slew of people um, to do this tag. I immediately knew I was